Right, now we've got the basics set up, we can start to add content. So let's come back to the insert option over here. And you've got a whole bunch of things. You can look over here, you've got the text box, images, drive and embed options. And if we scroll down, I'll just make my header type a bit smaller for the minute, just make it a banner. You can access these options here from the insert function. You can access by double tapping and you get this option here. You've got the drive, upload from your computer, insert an image, embed something or text button, um, which is the same options you get over here with the exception of the upload function. So you can access those. But let's just think more broadly about how we're going to organize our content. And the first block here are these content blocks. And these can be very useful for you. So if we wanted a text and image block, we can build those obviously, but you can also drag those in. So let's have a look what these look like. So let's just drag this into here. And we've now got a image and a text block. And there's some other options we can do with this. Let's drag across a, another one. And put this underneath we've got an image and text image and text or content and text that can be anything we can click in here you see we click on this you've got these options here that you can click on um, and this helps us to actually build the content of our page you can also see over here you can change the theme of them so let's have a look at this let's click on here the theme if I wanted to choose a style for my template I could just choose style 3 I would get a yellow band click on here we can choose style 2 we get that or if we choose style one, we back where we were. So you can use the the colors or the styles to actually um, create different emphasis on your page. I'm going to stick with the white background, so I'll stick with style one. Also to note, there's these grab handles over here. If you put things the wrong way around, say I wanted to put these two pictures before this function here, I can click on this and I can drag them up and you can see where the blue line goes thick. I've now swapped those over. Or indeed, if I've made a mistake, I can click on the trash over here and delete them. So let's just stick with this. First of all, I'm going to upload a picture into this space here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to upload a picture from my computer. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to sc scroll all the way down to this image here that I know I've got here that I made. It's a PNG file and it looks a total mess. Now that's because the um, image box or frame created by the default template is this dimension and my picture isn't. So I need to actually use the grab handles to try and manipulate the picture into the format that I want. So I'm going to drag it and as I as I drag my the grab handles around I can see I'm getting back towards the proportions of the image that I actually want and so there we go I can click on that now I've got my picture and you can see the grab handles have conformed to the size that I want so let's just put some text into here so now you can, again, you can you can change all of these. So this is by default, century Gothic, which is what I want. But I might make these a bit bigger. So let's make these fourteen point. Let's make this. Um, let's make this eighteen point. These are rather. This is some. There we go. All right. So this is a title. We're just beginning to start creating some content here. Um, and again, always preview now. What happens is um, when this page resizes, obviously this works for a screen in a landscape format, but as I said earlier, I want to look at this on a phone. You, this will help you think about how you want to organize your content. So the way the page will be moved around is the object on the left gets priority and the object on the right will get put underneath. So let's see, to show you what I mean, at the moment these are side by side. If we look at what this looks like on a cell phone, we can see here it is. And if I scroll down, I get my image first nicely centered. Then I get my content next. So that means we can start moving things around if you want to. You might want the text first. So I can now move this to this side and I can put this the other way around and just notice how I just move these around and you can see here these alignment lines grayed out in the background that allow you to move things around to make sure you get what you want this might be um, too wide because that's how wide we, want our we know what our text to be and now we can move this 
back a bit more you can see where it's sort of slips into the center come to here and we can now again preview this and the text will be first this time and my image will be second so you you know as long as you understand that when the the page gets resized and reoriented because it goes from landscape to portrait that the left hand object on each row gets priority so to demonstrate that again if we click on the two pictures here and let's just add a picture here and I'm going to select an image and I'm going to just quickly go to Google Images and I'm going to button first just look for volcano uh, that'll do insert that picture and again we can if it's not quite the proportions that we want we can scale it to the way we want it to be that's fine let's show how we can upload something from the uh, from Google Drive Let's click on Google Drive here. I'm going to, uh, let's just see, let's do it this way. Select image, I'll do it this way. From Google Drive this way, you'll see better this way. Here we go, I want to insert this bolt here. Click insert. The bolt needs to be scaled because it's the proportions of it. So there it is scaled. And again, so we've got these two pictures here. Let's have a look at the preview that the, um, Volcano should be the first picture that appears after the clock tower. So we scroll through, got the clock tower, that's all good. Next is going to be the volcano, and then next is the bolt. Now obviously, if I'd filled out the text, and we'll do that again, the text underneath the volcano would have been the text between, the vol between there and the bolt. So let's just demonstrate that. So let's add this in here. Okay, so each one has now got some text. Again, click on preview. And we can see down here, there's the volcano. There's the volcano erupting text. There's the bolt and there's the M3 bolt. So, so long as you understand how the contents move around, that will allow you to work out the format. So that's using content blocks. Let's see about adding content from a different source.